Major Slack videos. Yeah, <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Shut up, Pee Wee. Okay. Yo, my name is Major Slack and thanks for joining me again in today's Far Cry 5 video I'm going to show you how to make big money fast right near the start of the game with what I'm going to call the Money Farmer build. With this build you can potentially make $88,000 an hour hunting and selling animal skins. Oh boy, here we go again. I know, I know, I know what you're thinking. And I too have seen all those videos. Make $100,000 an hour, make $200,000 an hour. And yet, I have never actually seen anyone back up those claims with an actual timed hunt. Just one hunt, round trip, so that we can see how long it actually takes under optimal conditions to produce X amount of cash. You know, like from general store with an empty inventory out to do a hunt and back to general store with the goods, sell off and boom, that's time. So how about it, Slack? How about it? Okay, here we go. This is no bull. What you're about to watch is a hunting trip that I worked out using my special Money Farmer build. In this particular demonstration, I earn $6,150, which is typical, okay? And I do it in 4 minutes and 10 seconds flat, door to door, okay? So if you do the math, that works out to $92,250 in 62.5 minutes. Or if you crunch the numbers, it comes out to $88,000 an hour. Okay, let's see it. Okay, let's do it. Start the clock now. Okay, here we go. We're starting out at the general store at the Garden View packing facility just west of the pumpkin farm. As you saw, my inventory was completely en empty. I had no items to sell. And we're going to fast travel up to the Old Sun Outfitters location. And I'm going to do a detailed slow motion version of everything I'm doing now. So like during this run, I won't have time to give you all the details. Just have time to give you the broad strokes, okay? Now we're up here at the Old Sun Outfitters location. I'm going to call in Boomer because Boomer is great at tagging animals in the area and as we move out to the area where we're gonna hunt bison um, we may run into a turkey or a deer on the way and he'll tag them on the way and we can quickly gun them down and add that to like our you know stack of animal skins but we're basically going after bison and there we go boomer found a turkey so let's blow it away and head down to the bison area most bison areas are just teeming with bison. There's one right there. So here I'm going to gun down five bison. You get two skins per bison. That's four. That's six. That's eight. And that's 10 bison skins. That's the maximum you can carry of any animal skin is 10. Now let's let Boomer go because for the next part, I don't want him hanging around. Now we're going to be hunting wolves. So we're going to go up to the grilled steak location. Once again, I'll go over all this in detail afterwards. Here we're going to hunt specifically wolves. Now each bison gave up some bait. So now we have six bait, which is the maximum we can carry. We have six bait on us. And we're going to throw out bait and use the bow to shoot down these wolves that come out and get the bait. Each time you shoot down a wolf with a bow, you get four skins. That's four skins right there. You can also get four skins shooting bison with a bow, but um, I'll explain why I'm not doing that later on when I do the detailed version of this run. Okay, so that's eight wolf skins. And this one won't be able to take two because the maximum of any animal uh, skins you can take on is 10. So we get two from that one. That's 10 wolf skins. Let's go back to the pumpkin farm, believe it or not. Ray Ray's pumpkin farm. And here we're going to hunt cougars. Just north of the pumpkin farm. And I'm leaving all the load screens in because I'm keeping it real. This is exactly how long it takes real time. Okay, once at the pumpkin farm, go north. Hop over this fence. And as soon as you hop over the second fence, you're in cougar country. The minute you hop over, you can technically start hunting cougar right now. But I don't like hunting, hunting him in the, the grass because uh, their head gets obscured. You want to do a headshot. So I'd like to go over to this path here. Throw out a bait. Aim the bow. Wait for the crew to come for it, do a headshot, kill it instantly, throw out another bait. Wait for the cougar to come, cougar to come. 
do a headshot, kill it instantly. Throw out another bait. Wait for the cougar to come. Headshot, kill it instantly. Get four skins, four skins, and two skins on the last one. We now have ten cougar skins, ten wolf skins, and ten bison skins, and four uh, feathers from the turkey. Gonna sell all this off. And this will come to $6,150. And as you see, we're just coming up to the four minute mark. Back to the Garden View packing facility. Sell off of the shop. Boom. And that's time. Four minutes and 10 seconds. Okay, here we go. Let's explain what's going on here. First of all, what is the Money Farmer build? Uh, by the way, if you hear sounds of hammering and sawing and buzzing and drilling and whatnot, that's the the people downstairs. My landlord is renovating the apartment downstairs and it's just absolutely hellacious. So I don't know if the microphone is picking this up, but if you hear some strange noises, background noises, that's what that is. Okay, the Money Farmer build. This is basically... Let's start off with the perks, okay? It's basically four perks harvest master journey pack throwables bag and additional holster i also have uh the human fish and the grapple um perks but like you don't really need those that's not part of the uh the hunt the hunting build okay so it's the harvest master journey pack throwables and additional holster. Let's go through this one by one. Let's start with Harvest Master, okay? Double the double your loot reward with plants and animals. Basically, when you don't have any perks, if you kill an animal, you get one skin out of the animal. But if you have the Harvest Master perk, you'll get two skins per animal. And on top of that, if you kill an animal with a melee bat, melee weapon, or a compound bow, or any kind of bow, you'll double up your loot again. So that's like, it stacks on top of the other perk, okay? So if you have the Harvest Master perk and you kill an animal with a bow or a melee, a melee weapon, you'll get four animal skins. You'll get four skins out of that kill. Okay, four skins. Oh, oh, he said four skins. Yeah, <laughs> four skins again. Yeah, um, yeah, so you get, that's how I'm getting four skins out of the wolf kills and the cougar kills, all right? Uh, that's number one. Number two, the maximum number of skins you can carry in your backpack by default is five of any animal type. So at the beginning of the game, you don't have any any perks. Here, I would only be able to carry five bison skins. But if you get the journey, what's it called? The journey pack. If you get the journey pack perk, this will double up the amount of skins that you can carry. So we'll go from five to 10. So that's very important if you want to hunt for money. Um, next, the throwables bag. Uh, there's basically two kinds of animals. Predator and prey. Predators can actually be drawn out by throwing bait. So it's actually a lot faster hunting predators because if you have bait, just throw out the bait and whatever predator is indigenous to the particular area you're in, um, that predator will come out right away. That's how I got the wolves and the cougars to spawn right away, just by throwing a bait. And by default, you're only allowed to carry three bait. But if you have the throwables perk, once again, the throwables bag, what's it called? The throwables bag perk, this will double it up. So now instead of three bait, you can carry six bait. So now we can draw out six predators with these, or yeah, six predators with the bait. And finally, the final perk is additional holster. This is just a matter of protection because um, you want to be able to carry another weapon besides your bow <laughs> because. <laughs> Let's face it, it's really dangerous out there. And also just gives you options uh, with regards to how to kill animals. As you noticed, I didn't kill all the bison. I didn't kill any bison with the bow. Um, I killed them with the uh, the light machine gun, okay? So yeah, so having the additional holster perk will open up this weapon slot here. By default, you only have this weapon slot, 
a primary weapon and your sidearm weapon slot. And having a third weapon slot helps tremendously if you're going to hunt for money. All right, now, weapons. What weapons am I using? This is best demonstrated by going to... Um, you didn't get Joseph, but at least you tried. This is what I was using to kill the bison, the light machine gun. And this is what I was using to kill everything else. Okay? Let's go to the weapon shop and you see a better description of the light machine gun. That's over here. And here we go, the light machine gun. That is, in my opinion, one of the best hunting tools besides the bow. Okay? Um, and also, I was using the compound bow. This, you have to buy. It's not available for free. I don't think you can find it, and maybe you can find one somewhere, uh, but I just buy it. It's not that expensive. It's, I think it's around 3,000 bucks, and you'll be able to easily afford it once you get going with my build. And this you can find for free on Duchess Island right at the beginning of the game. At the beginning of the game, you kind of have this in-game tutorial, and you're confined to Duchess Island. And you'll have to do a prepper stash tutorial at the Silver Lake Boathouse. Let's just go there now. And I'll show you exactly where the compound bow is found, in case you didn't find it. Once you start searching the prepper stash at uh, the Silver Lake Boathouse, you go down into the stash. You solve a little puzzle. I'll show you that in another video. You solve a little puzzle. You open up the stash. The stash is right here. Go down in here. And in case you missed it, I believe the bow is right here. Either here or here. It's here. It's, yeah, it's on the weapon rack. It's here. You just take it for free. Okay, so that's how you get the compound bow. And with this, you can double up your animal kills. And that is it. Um, let's go over locations. Ray Ray's Pumpkin Farm is one of the first locations. This whole build, basically, I want it to be centered around resources that you could easily access right near the beginning of the game. There may be better bison hunting grounds, you know, but um, you'll have to, like, take a helicopter and fly out to, like, way out to these, like, extremes. I, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to find areas that were, like, easily accessible right near the beginning of the game. Okay, so... Cougar Country, just go like southwest of Dutch's Island. This is one of the first main missions you get is to free a boomer at the pumpkin farm, okay? And just north east of the pumpkin farm is Cougar Country. And it basically starts, like I said, at that fence. Let's fast travel back there now. There's a couple of fences just north of the pumpkin farm. Okay, this is exactly where you get dropped off when you fast travel to the pumpkin farm. Use your compass to head north. Go through the pumpkin patch, go over the first fence. The minute you go over the second fence, this is cougar country. Right now you can start hunting cougars. And there is a turkey. That's another thing I forgot to mention. Turkeys also give up bait. And it's best to kill them with a baseball bat. And by the way, turkeys are a force to be reckoned with. So beware the revenge of the turkey. <laughs> and like killing a turkey with a baseball bat, way funny. That's <laughs> just way too funny. And they give up bait and they also give up four feathers if you kill it with a um with a melee weapon. Alright? And like I said, this is cougar country right now. As soon as you go over that fence. So if we throw out some bait. A cougar will come. This is exactly why I get rid of Boomer when I hunt hunt for predators. Cause he always screws it up. You see? Pretty good, eh? Really cool. You killed him. Oh, we only get two cougars two cougar skins, um, if Boomer kills him. Interesting, okay, that's good to know. Yeah, see that's exactly why I dismiss Boomer when I'm hunting for predators, because he always screws it up and often prevents them from going for the bait. Um, bison country. 
there are bison locations all over the place. This is the one I selected because it's the easiest to unlock from the beginning of the game. It's right beside Old Sun Outfitters. Okay, this whole area here, beautiful bison country, wide open plains. You can see them for a mile off. And the reason why I prefer hunting bison is because they're huge. They're huge freaking targets. And wherever you hunt for bison, there always seems to be a bazillion of them. There's there's so many, it's like unlimited, okay? So that's where I go there. And what you can do to discover that right near the beginning of the game is buy yourself a boat at the boat shop. It only costs you like a thousand bucks and then just boat up here, boat straight across the river. It could take a couple of minutes, go up here and just discover Old Sun Outfitters. And now you get a fast travel point to hunt bison. And just north of there is the grill steak uh, location. And everywhere, north of this road and west of this road in this area here is wolf country nothing else will spawn if you throw out bait there's actually um <laughs> you can actually hunt for wolves at the pumpkin farm right here at the pumpkin farm you can hunt for wolves the only problem is and i don't like doing this i see other guys when they when they do like their hunting tutorials and hunting trips they rely on random spawns I really don't like random spawns. For example, hunting in this area here, if you fast travel back to Ray Ray's pumpkin farm and hunt in this area here, and you throw out a bait, this will produce randomly either a wolf or a bear. Let's try this again. Throw out another bait. Got another wolf this time. Let's try it again. And there we go, this time we got a bear. So it's random. This is the kind of random predator hunting I don't like. Because let's say you get six bears in a row and then you can't take on any more bear skins. Um, you know, you're kind of screwed. So that's why I like to stick to like areas where this only one specific predator is gonna spawn because you have a lot more control over your hunting. Let's go back to the Garden View packing facility, fill up our ammo, and then I'll take some questions. Okay, let me just do in this radio here because it could be some copyright issues. If It's great music that they play in this game, but um, okay, I have no items, uh, ammo, full. And that's it. Okay, I will now take questions. What the hell, Slack? You're hunting with the light machine gun? Yeah. So? Won't that produce damaged skins? Yeah, I heard that before too. I read that before too. In fact, I avoided hunting with the light machine gun, which is one of the best weapons in the game you can get like early on in the game. Um, and yeah, I avoided using that because uh, I read that if you hunt with a light machine gun, you produce damaged skins. And in case you don't know, damaged skins are only worth five bucks. Typically skins are worth anywhere from 180 to $300 per skin. And that's an extreme. Typically it's worth between 180 and $225 per skin. Wolves are worth 180, deer are worth 180 per skin. Uh, bison are worth 200, cougars are worth 225 and something out there that's worth 300 I forget which I think it may be a moose or something but normally it's anywhere from 180 to 225 dollars per skin now if you damage the skin I've done this before if you run over an animal with a vehicle and you produce what they call as roadkill when you try to loot the animal you just pick up damage a damaged skin it's only worth five bucks and I heard a lot of people talking that if you hunt with the light machine gun you produce damaged skins now in producing this video, I have yet to produce a single damaged skin hunting with the light machine gun, although I was wary of that. So I was very careful not to overkill any animals. Like I was very careful not to overkill the bison. Let's just settle this right now, see if we can produce a damaged skin with the light machine gun. Here we are out in bison country again. Let's go down to the, uh, the best area there. I mean, you saw in the, at the beginning of the video, I just absolutely obliterated a turkey with a light machine gun. And I still got feathers out of it. And this is another reason why I prefer hunting with a light machine gun. 
protection. Because if you go with a sniper rifle, if you go with a 50 caliber sniper rifle like the SA-50, you've only got 18 shots. And once you're out of ammo, that's it. Then you have to rely on your SMG for like protection. Let's see if we can overkill one of these bisons and produce a damaged skin. Okay, he's dead. Let's just keep shooting at him. And this bison got peed off. <laughs> Looks like they, they don't like overkill. Okay, how many rounds did I pile into this? Check that out. This is insane. <laughs> Hilarious. Okay, and... I got two normal skins. That was total overkill, too. I mean, come on. How many rounds did they pile up, pile into that bison? I don't know, maybe you have to chase them all over the countryside and be a real bad shot, pile in a lot of body shots. I don't know what's going on. Let's try it with this one. Let's see your inventory. So, okay, let's see the inventory. Go to the inventory. No, it would say. It would, would not be listed as a bison skin. It would be listed as a damaged skin. Okay, let's go for this bison body shots. Here's a better one. Two bison skin. I'm not seeing it, people. I'm not seeing it. Um, I'm not able to produce a reliable test where I can, you know, produce a damaged skin with a light machine gun. So, uh, it's either it's bullshit or it's 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 like very specific circumstances. That's that other one. There, we finally killed it. Two bison skin. Just for posterity, let's go back. Sell off. And I'll show you that they're normal bison skins. Sell loot. Let's sell them one by one. Two hundred bullet. Two hundred dollars. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. I call bullshit. It's bullshit. Hunting with a light machine gun uh, seems perfectly fine to me. <laughs> okay, Slack, why aren't you shooting the bison with a bow? You'll get four skins per kill and you'll get ten bison skins faster. That's a good point. That's a good point. But in the long run, um, if you're sh trying to shoot down a bison with a bow, it has to be optimal, an optimal situation. Let's go back to bison hunting, bison hunting country. It has to be an optimal situation. And I've done a lot of bison hunting and you have to get two headshots, two ideal headshots with the bow to take it down quickly. Otherwise, you're chasing it all over the freaking countryside, piling in like four or five, six arrows. And basically, you can gun down five bison a lot faster than you can shoot down three bison with the bow. So why bother? I mean, you know, yeah, you do get more skins per kill, but if it takes you longer to produce those 10 skins anyways, why bother, you know what I mean? Just just take out your light machine gun and gun them down. It'll go a lot faster. How long did it take me to gun down five bison in the uh, demonstration video? Seriously, you know? So unless it's an ideal situation where you're facing a bison head on and you got a nice headshot lined up, I mean, you know? See, this is this one talked about. They start charging, you know. So yeah, a light machine gun for sure. That's why. Other than that, everything else, like for example, predators, use the bow because you get skins a lot faster. One headshot. There we go, two headshots. But like I said, it has to be an ideal situation where you got the bison nicely lined up. And there you go, you get four bison skins per kill.
but like in the long run, if you do a lot of hunting, you'll just go, ah, ah, fuck it, just use the light machine gun and gun them down quicker. So what if you get double skins per per bow kill? I mean, you know, it doesn't always work out so neatly. You know, look at this, he's running away. See what I mean? So now no more headshots. It doesn't work out so neatly. It rarely works out so neatly. So yeah, I prefer the light machine gun. And I think that's about it. That about covers it. Um. If you would like to see a complete mini walkthrough of how I produce this build, because basically this build is going to require a whopping 32 perk points. Okay, you're going to have to produce 32 perk points to get these four key perks. Harvest Master, Journey Pack, Throwables Bag, and Additional Holster. Um, if you want to see a complete mini walkthrough on how I produced this build in about one hour and 15 minutes from the start of the game approximately i think i could do a little better but uh yeah in, in a mere hour and 15 minutes from the beginning of the game you could be making eighty-eight thousand dollars an hour okay and if you want to see a complete walkthrough of that post a comment okay because i've got it pretty much all worked out a little strategy uh run it would be run maybe two or three videos and yeah if you want to see um complete mini walkthrough of how i produce the money farmer build post a comment Okay, so that's about it. I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. And if you thought this video was remotely entertaining, I know we're informative. Hey, you know what to do. Give the old slackster a big old thumbs up. And don't forget to like and favorite the video and subscribe to my channel to make sure you get all my videos hot off the press. All right, that's it. See you next video. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1. That's all. That's all it takes. Alright? Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.